So Michael, how are broadcasters making best use of TAG as viewers more and more migrate to OTT services? First, we have to understand um, what, oh, how OTT is different from traditional uh, video distribution. OTT adds a complexity on both the business side and also the technical side. On the technical side, it, it basically multiplies the amount of video data that they need to handle and uh, deliver to the consumers. OTT is multiple different protocols. There's a need to support different types of devices, different types of encryptions, multiple resolutions. TAC can help with that because TAC has a number of different ways to reduce the complexity and also help people um, keep their eyes more in-depth monitoring at scale. We can help them re reduce the amount of hardware needed to monitor the highest amount of streams by focusing on what's most important. So this is really interesting because OTT, of course, is far from baked. Uh, OTT typically been playback of library content, but now we're seeing the emergence of fast, which is essentially broadcast modality of delivery over OTT. And, you know, TAG brings some advanced features to the table, which really help that. For example, in OTT right now, SCUDI triggers for in search of commercials are really not a thing. In fast, they're key critical. So things like that are ability to monitor paths and show quality down paths, show content validation with our content matching down paths, validate the SCUDI triggers have occurred and content's been asserted, brings real extra value, particularly to broadcasters migrating to fast. And in addition to that, an OTT streaming latency is a big issue. To produce an OTT stream, there is a lot more processing, including transcoding and packaging and creating multiple variations of the same content. So TAC can help not only measure the code, the, the latency, but also um, also provide tools to the broadcasters to understand how this latency affects the customers and use those tools to increase this, uh, the customer satisfaction and increase the quality of experience for their customers. We are defining the different types of latencies and the requirements for those because different types of applications require different latencies. Uh, something that is considered low latency for broadcasting streaming isn't a low latency for gaming or betting. So they need the different uh, different tool sets. Even for sports and you know, latency has always been an engineer's problem and then more recently it's become an operational problem. And with the last Super Bowl, it became a front page problem for your average consumer who it's now understands problem. it, right? And now it's a social problem. It's a social problem and Actually, we, um, OTT doesn't compete necessarily with broadcast anymore. You know, and, and a few years ago, people were saying, hey, I can hear my neighbors screaming because they have cable and I have OTT. But now it's actually going again social media. You can tweet in three seconds and your video is a minute and a half later. Exactly. So you need, uh, you need the video to adapt to those times and not just uh, the traditional broadcast, which is a little bit longer. And that's why we do what we do, and we have the tools available in our product that accommodate all of that. Absolutely.